All right, all right. It's that time again where I do a little video to keep you updated so you know what is going on on the ground, so to speak. As generally, uh, I don't know what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis in the uh, state arbiters, propaganda campaigns and psyops against me, Stephen Bell. This is nearly, nearly always the case, as they don't want me to be able to then defend myself in any way, shape or form. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the ways that they are, uh, the material ways that they are coming after me directly. Uh, every time I try to sleep, I'm literally being denied sleep on a continuous basis. I'm being bombarded through synthetic telepathy, uh, both when I'm trying to sleep and when I am sleeping. Uh, I'm literally being constantly bombarded. I'm, uh, I'm, what they are trying to do when I sleep specifically is that they are trying to brainwash me or indoctrinate me into the person that they continuously uh, proclaim uh, that I am in the virtual movie fabrications and propaganda campaigns. So they are trying to uh, brainwash me into, uh, into being the monster that they proclaim me to be in their propaganda campaigns to the public, not just of Denmark but all over the world. So they still haven't given up on their mind control aspects of the program. They still think that they can influence and change me into uh, the monster that justifies the existence of the program and the social and political persecution of me, Stephen Bell, with uh, uh, notwithstanding that nothing has ever come out come out of any of these. Uh, uh, mind control attempts and brainwashing attempts that have been going on since the inception of the program and uh, and instead they are just doing it because that's all the West knows what to do is double down endlessly uh, and furthermore they are also using ironizing radiation to attack my intergestive system on top of uh, bombarding, me, me, bombarding me with electromagnetic signals which would be non-ironizing signals. They are using a combination of the two to, to physically uh, go after my uh, intergestive system to cause me to have problems with my gut and in this regard they are constantly uh, causing me to have constipation and they are using the, the, the effects that they are deliberately causing me through poisoning me with radiation amongst, uh, amongst other things as propaganda content uh, to discredit me so they're constantly saying that I'm shitting everywhere and, uh, and making a huge uh, deal out of uh, my uh, toilet habits while in fact I have generally I have a a almost chronic constipation because of the uh, because of the environment that I live in this toxic environment where I'm being irradiated uh, and on top of these things they are of course running these never-ending propaganda campaigns and psyops of course that justify the existence of the program and the social and political persecution of me with outside of the rule of law, outside of the courts, outside of air, outside of my involvement 90% of the time. And, uh, and this month, October, they have denied all income uh, from my small business. Nobody is allowed to, to shop at my web shop or shop uh, buy anything from me generally speaking doesn't matter if it's private or if it's uh, through my little small business one stop engine shop and uh, this month 2022 or 2022 uh, this year rather has been uh, extremely hard they have almost uh, the they have severely decreased the amount of income that I'm uh, allowed to have through my small business and this month here in October, they have completely strangled all income. And I have never had so many interest and views on my web shop uh, and on my uh, scooters, engines and parts on Facebook and on DBA as I have had this year. For example, generally speaking, I have around 7,000 to 8,000 views of my items on Facebook Marketplace alone each month. I have between uh, 1,200 to 2,000 views uh, on my web shop. I have like a thousand different visitors to my web shop all over the world, from all over the world, uh, visit my web shop. And when I have DBA like three times a year, 
I get like 10,000 views in a month. And uh, throughout the year, despite these numbers, I'm only getting like three to five uh, sales a month. Uh, uh, and this October, this year, I haven't had, had any sales uh, uh, and they are literally strangling my income utterly. Uh, and they are obviously justifying uh, these huge restrictions and embargoes on the people uh, from buying anything from me, which by the way, they're doing always uh, from people who uh, do not live in Denmark. I'm not allowed to sell anything to other countries other than Denmark and Denmark uh, the sales here are being uh, more and more prohibited despite the, the, the much interest that I'm having and as I was saying they are justifying these things by uh, making all kinds of claims and accusations against me and my small business without me being involved they are asking of customers to to make false complaints uh, but nobody's really willing to do so and uh, there is there has been one complaint that I have tried to to mitigate uh, last week uh, and I have uh, got wind of how they uh, could this could have been a result if there is even a problem uh, a week before then so they are keep dragging it out and using it as a pretext to to deny people to to shop at my web shop and uh, this person who claims to have an engine that is uh, faulty has still not sent the engine back uh, as I uh, said they could under the warranty that I give and the engine is still not being returned to me so I suspect uh, we have a situation where someone is just making claims and the government's uh, amplifying and, uh, and using the, the situation that they themselves have created uh, and they are literally just using that as propaganda content to justify the continuation of all the prohibitions against the people from doing, uh, from uh, buying any of their scooters, engines and parts from me, Stephen Bell and my small business one stop engine shop because the government can't tolerate that I have any success and they can't tolerate that I have money so I try to defend myself of course by buying uh, trying to constantly improve on the shielding uh, that I uh, that I'm trying to achieve so I can get a good night's sleep without being affected all of the in all of the ways that I have explained in this video and many many other ways too uh, and I do this by of course trying to shield myself through these through typic, uh, specifically the electromagnetic bombardments uh, that much of their technological capabilities are run on RF frequencies i.e. electromagnetics and that can be shielded uh, uh, and that's what I'm trying to achieve which they are trying to stop